Hi guys, I have two gorgeous vintage bags here in red to um, talk about. And the, these bags are from this designer, Maurice Moscovitz. Uh, if you are familiar with this uh, line, um, this is uh, a famous or apparently uh, like a high-end uh, brand of um, handbags uh, during the day in line with Corette and Gary. They were sold alongside. I was just reading the history, but some of my information may be jumbled. So, <laughs> But this company was started in 1948 and um, they stopped producing bags in mid-1980s. So uh, I am not sure what, uh, I, I could not uh, date exactly as to when these bags were made. But if you go online, um, fortunately there is uh, actually a bit of information about this designer. And as you can see, uh, this designer um, is, uh, I would say, uh, has produced um, high-end handbags. I have two other Morris Moscovitz handbags, but I'm going to show you later. I bought this um, online, bought both of them online, and I'm very, very happy and uh, impressed uh, with the quality and structure. These handbags may have been in the 1960s or, or 1980s, who knows, but you know, they still look so good as if, you know, they've just come out. And it's very, very, you know, impressive. And apparently, uh, I think I've been reading the history. I think Judith Lieber, you know her uh, because of her um, high-end, embellished, expensive um, handbags. Uh, she used to work for Morris Moscovitz. Okay, so um, you may have seen the one on the left, the reptile uh, fall one. I featured this before. But, um, you know, it's just pretty to look at alongside <laughs> the, the chevron lambskin. Okay, so let's start off with this um, handbag because this is the one that I have not, uh, that you have not seen yet. Okay, so I got this last week. So as you can see, it has that Chanel vibe to it. Um, it's in the chevron um, pattern. And... It's so uh, minimalist. It doesn't scream of Chanel. It doesn't say, okay, look at me, I'm Chanel. And um, the quality, guys, is just really, really nice. And the leather is just super soft and smooth. So I would say this is, um, this is absolutely, absolutely lambskin. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so here it is. So it's in dark red burgundy, oxblood red, and uh, the chains can be doubled up or um, this is a tiny handbag, like uh, small to medium. It, the chains are um, quite, it, there, there's a bit of weight but not too heavy because as you can see it's narrow, okay, compared to Chanel's but look at that it's just really really soft and gorgeous guys this is like how, how many years old could be um well like uh, 50 years old or more already and still um looks uh, gorgeous okay it has this the the name there i'm sorry the initials m m and those are my initials by the way so <laughs> so it's like uh, this has been customized for me <laughs> and i just love 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 this look at that and if i bring this to the shoemaker to have it uh you know perfectly evenly uh you know done then that would be more uh, but there's not, not there's not a major damage in here so it's just plain scratches and all that this has held up pretty well and i i would think this is even more you know i mean the craftsmanship is just like that of chanel you know you can just see this has been in the 19 could be 50s or 60s uh, i'm not sure but look at that so it has um that um uh, black um, smooth leather lining that's like you know Chanel and it has 
two just two compartments it's very very simple and if you've owned a Mars Moscovitz bags they have this triangular uh, zipper pool and it says genuine leather so that's good enough for me guys I've, I'm looking for um, uh, handbags that are really really nice but that doesn't scream of a replica or something and this is just really gorgeous it's just so subtle and um, I love it I love it and um, this was for a reasonable a very reasonable price and uh, isn't isn't that gorgeous that's like probably nine inches by eight inches by two inches so if you could picture that, it's, uh, I would say, a medium, a medium uh, bag. Okay, it's such a lovely, lovely handbag, guys. So there's a bit of darkening because, you know, of usage. But you can just see it's solid. It's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so this is the, the bag that I just purchased recently. Now, this is the handbag that I've shown you before. It could have been shown as a haul. And um, this is a faux alligator or crocodile skin. And this can be worn um, several ways. It's, it has straps inside, but I'm just showing you. What caught me was this handle. You can just use it like that. It can be worn as a clutch. Guys, it's really, really, really nice. I love it. It, it just looks so perfect. Okay. So you can just um, use it like this as a satchel, just handheld. Or that's uh, there's no fit here. But look at that it's it's a patent leather it's very glossy but this is a fall alligator of course and um, I, I've read that he um, liked to make handbags um, from exotic skins too so but uh, this is a patent leather anyway so look at that my sister so wanted this she wanted to buy it from me but I said no no way genuine leather Morris Moscovitz and it has I've worn this to church guys and I just love 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 it look at that the chain doesn't show any tarnishing at all it's just so so gorgeous it's just so new so um, it has uh, oh, so it's just there's just one open pocket here and there's the zippered compartment there and again the triangular uh, zipper pool so this is really really new and I just love this it's so gorgeous guys and you know that these uh, vintage bags are coming back um, they'll never go out of style because they're a classic you know the design is just classic it looks classy it's not trashy at all is that like when you go to a mall and you just see the trashy bags there the bin I don't like that I'd rather have um, a vintage bag that no one has and look at this this is just so gorgeous it screams elegance and I that's what I love about vintage bags because it's you know like no other uh, I've also seen some Morris Moscovitz bags online. I think they also channel, aside from uh, Chanel, they also have like Bottega Veneta-like handbags. And um, and I also have like a super Gucci-ish here. It's like, not super Gucci-ish. It's like uh, a dope for Gucci from this designer. This is also a Morris Moscovitz bag. Okay, so this is a super tiny bag. And because of the horseshoe bit here, uh, hardware, I would uh, say probably they were channeling Gucci here. Or could it be Lederer? Lederer Paris. Lederer Paris is also a very, very popular a vintage designer however I think they've been in um, trouble with Hermes because they've been copying uh, they have this Birkin or Cali bag 
for a thousand or like five hundred dollars i think they are selling them for that amount and it's equally um you know the material is the same i mean of course it's it just looks like a Birkin and a Kelly and the quality is there. So I think they, I think Hermes, I'm not sure who won, I think. Um, I'm not sure who won the case, but anyway. So this one, the horseshoe bit is like a um, leather of Paris. And yeah, so there you go. Is this a pocket? No, it's not a pocket. This is a very, very tiny bag. I've had this for probably five years. I've never had a chance to wear it. It's just really, really small. It says here, leather, and just like that. It's, it's just simple. Okay, and I have another one. It is like in the Gucci style, but it's hobo. And um, this one, I absolutely don't like this. But uh, I just have this in my collection. I bought this from the flea market. When I saw it, because the leather, the leather is really, really nice. It's very well made. So I don't actually, um, I'm, I don't discriminate bags as long as the leather is nice. Okay, so look at that. The hardware is um, lovely. It's a, a woven leather. It's like... Uh, I feel like is this a Gucci <laughs> you know <laughs> and this one it's got a big MM here and there is another of course a zipper pull on the in okay so this is in gorgeous condition lovely lovely condition it's genuine leather and it doesn't put any mark on it so that's that's fine so I don't like wearing fakes guys so I'd rather have something that no one else has. <laughs> and this is a cute um, handbag. It's, I would say, yes, it's, it's, it's okay, but uh, this is just not my type. But I'm just so in love with the hardware. So, there you go. So, um, my favorites so far are these, um, my favorites are these two. But this... I just display this all the time. It's like my centerpiece. <laughs> I have so many bags, but I make sure that this one gets, you know, exposure in my display cabinet. Okay, there you go, guys. Okay, bye.